Hello everybody and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. So today I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the most popular ship ever on the Space Engineers workshop. So how we're going to do that is very simple. We're going to click on the most popular items and then we're going to go from one week to all time. And now we're going to have a load of scripts and mods, but the most popular actual ship is the IMDC Callisto class carrier. This is a, a six and a half year old ship now and it was built by JD Hawks obviously the IMDC fleet. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to sort of take a look at this ship and go back in time as we spawn it into today's 2021 uh, fully released Space Engineers and see how it's uh, stood the test of time as you can see things look very very different when this was posted so let's go and have a bit of a look in game so here we are and here she is in the flesh we have the callisto class carrier as you can see i think it still looks pretty good it's still a pretty good looking ship even for today i mean obviously the shape's nice um, we've got quite light armament, probably, for today's Space Engineers, but I like that. I like a ship that isn't covered in guns. I think it's uh, I think it's characterful. So we've got eight Gatling turrets and two missile turrets. I think that's a pretty reasonable amount. Your main weapons as a carrier are, of course, your fighters. So that's fine. Got a nice protective... Uh, ...setup of plates here to uh, defend the fighters. And let's have a look inside. So we've got eight docking uh, pads, I guess. We've got four back here, and then we've got four sort of elevated ones, I guess. Um, with sort of a blue ambiance going on. Um, access to the... the oh. So the conveyor system does work, because it's hooked up over here. But for some reason, this doesn't seem to... Uh, these aren't conveyed up either, are they? Oh, they are. They are. So we've got some basic refineries going on down here, so you can manufacture some components still. Back in the uh, the days, these were arc furnaces. Who, who, who remembers that? <laughs> the arc furnace. That would, feels like a lifetime ago now. Um, how the fuck do I get out? Uh, here we go. So yeah, something's happened there. I don't know. Maybe it could be intentional, but I don't think so. We have actually got some gravity here. So this is a pretty, pretty big ship. It is mostly hangar. Um, but this definitely looks old. Like, you could tell this is sort of old SE design language with these ramps. And uh... Oh, this is cool. So we've got some exterior doors here. I do like this. And these are the obviously the old doors, which no one really uses anymore. Uh, I've got some gyros, a load of cargo containers, some nice windows. You can look down at your your fighter complement. This didn't ship with the fighters, which is a good thing because it, it lowers PCU count. Um, another symmetrical room here. Another little walkway. This is really really cool. I love external walkways on ships. Hop down here. And we have some reactors here, along with a large cargo container. Wow, that's well hidden. <laughs> I didn't see that, so it looks like it's powered by small reactors. We have got heavy armor and the landing pads as well there to protect the ship from being burnt to a crisp. Looks like this is sort of like an engineering area where you've got access to some of the thrusters. As well as a couple really nice windows, actually. I do like windows on spaceships, but I always forget to include them on my crafts. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool features. Let's go check uh, this side. Although I feel it's probably the same, but it's worth having a quick check. We've got some heavy armor lining the reactor rooms as well. It's worth noting. A little extra bit of protection there. Very nice. Same on this side. Got some windows. I wonder if we can see anything. Oh, we can see Earth. We can see Luna. And that's about it. Very cool, very cool. I love how you can see down the front of the ship, that's so nice. It's the, it's the little things, it's the little things. 
So we've got some catwalks here. Very nice. We've got a door. We've got some more reactors as well as the uh, access to the gravity generator. Looks like a, a wall of heavy armor there just for the extra protection. This thing's got patches of heavy armor everywhere, so it'd definitely be a tough uh, tough cookie to crack. Uh, grab gen, reactors, gyro. We're interested to see how this thing flies. Got a row of assemblers here. Looks like they've got no modules on them, but they're still useful for obviously manufacturing components to uh, repair your fighter craft. I mean, this, look how big this um, flight deck is. This is huge. Like, this is seriously big. I mean, this is what I call a carrier. You know, you can run down here. Like, it's a massive area. I love this about uh, about ships like this. I mean, this is why it's probably so popular. Um, this thing has like 100,000 subscribers, I think, which is a stupid amount uh, for a ship. But, I mean, it is a really cool ship as well, especially back in the day, back in 2015. Um, let's head up now, up here. More blotches of heavy armour. We'll uh, head up here first. I suspect this probably leads to the bridge. So, this is like flight control. Look at that. How cool is that? So, you can see all your engineers running around, fighters taking off. A couple control seats here. We haven't got anything on the uh, the hot bars, unfortunately, but uh, that means you can set them up um, yourself instead, if you prefer to do that. Load of control stations as well. These could be used for drones as well. You know, you can dock drones, and then we can have drone pilots sat in this little room here. Head up the ramp, and we have this large interior space. This is what I've noticed. A lot of the older SE designs have these huge open rooms with not a lot going on in them, whereas now we tend to make use of every single block on spaceships. So, you know, you'd have rooms sectioned off here, you'd have passage blocks, you'd have catwalk blocks, railings, planters, you'd have toilets, beds. None of that existed. We just had these medical rooms, and then I guess. It could also be seen as, you know, do whatever, do whatever you want with it. So it's like a bit of a a blank canvas for you to modify, which I think, you know, mm, I'd rather have a flushed out interior, but I can see the appeal to some people. Um, I'd definitely be putting, like, crew quarters back here. This would be really cool. Um, but we do have two medical rooms. Big open area here. And we have some more rooms here. This may be like, um, you know captain's quarters, something like that because we've got this lovely window here, you can see some of the guns at the starboard side there guessing we've got the same sort of ordeal here, yep, very nice This be very. these would be very nice private cabins I think, uh, like the captain, the first mate and then we've got these cool doors also no, there are no airlocks on this ship no vents, so um, you'd have to modify that if you were going to use this but it'd be quite easy to do. You can put one of those sliding doors right there. And that should sort it. So you can actually walk out here. Um, and you can, you know, repair the guns. You can have a bit of a stroll around the ship. I mean, look at that. It just gives you an idea of how big this thing is. It is huge. Uh, we've got these massive guns as well. I don't think people appreciate just how large these Gatling guns are. And they are very, very big. Look at the size of that fucking thing. Can you imagine being stood next to that in real life? Look at it. It's huge. <laughs> Please don't take that out of context. It's, it's already going to be taken out of context. So I'm just going to just going to go with it. Just going to go with it. Um, got a ramp here. So this is a. I guess it's leading up to the bridge. Got staggered lights. Uh, interesting feature. And here we are, we are on the bridge, we have double layered bulletproof glass here, so you can take a missile straight to the bridge. And we have the control seat that has not been set up. And this thing, holy shit. This just does not turn. I am... Yeah, right, how many gyros have we got? We have three gyroscopes. That's probably got something to do with it. And the fact that it weighs 4,700 tons. Three gyros. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd add, I'd add a few more, personally. Uh, but you do get a lovely view here. I mean, it is a carrier. I know it's supposed to be slow, and... Watch it, let's test that. It ain't slow. It's it's pretty quick, actually. I don't think it'd be very quick left and right, but forwards and backwards is pretty nippy. Let's try a... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no. But in a straight line, it's pretty quick, and considering you can't turn, really, I mean, I guess it's pretty realistic, you know, for a carrier to slowly be coming about. Um, there is a bit of that, but I'd prefer probably to triple or quadruple the gyros at least. Um, just stop you from bumping into things constantly. So we've got a bit more room here, you know, you can do your own thing there. Let's head back down, let's head aft through that door to check out what's over there. Oh, it's another little exit, so another little walkway here, so you can come and repair. Oh wow, this, this is really, I love these little passageways on the uh, external parts of the ship. So you can come out here, you know, in, the, in an emergency you can bail as well. You know, yeet, and just disappear. Um, or you can come out here to repair the ion thrusters and get yourself moving again. I think that is in essence why this ship was so popular. It is a really, really cool piece of design, especially at the time it was made. I mean, this would this was like revolutionary stuff, you know. So, yeah. Um, how well does it stand the test of time? Not brilliantly, if we're honest. Not brilliantly. The external design is still pretty relevant, but it does need a bit of an update interior-wise, I think, and systems-wise. But overall, I mean, it's the most popular ship of all time. I don't know how long it will be the most popular ship of all time, but it certainly is a pretty tasty bit of, uh, bit of spaceship here. So I'll leave the link in the description if you don't already have this thing um, on your blueprint list. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, I thought it would be an interesting one to do. Um, let me know if you want to see more random videos like this. And like and subscribe for more Space Engineers content. Take care, everybody.